Today we review the Sportful WS Thermo Glove. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Bella Harmony. In today's video I want to review a pair of gloves that I procured. I'm looking, I've been looking for gloves that will keep my hands warm but not be very bulky. I have a lot of gloves that I've tried and they have their little issues like some of the gloves are light, they're not bulky but you have to wear them with liners. So I did some research and found these gloves that I think are going to fit the bill. They're um, made by Sportful. This is a company that sponsors the team that Peter Sagan's uh, Bora Hansgrove team, one of the suppliers, the supporters of Sportful, they supply their jerseys and so forth, their kit. Um, that's not the reason I got them. I got them because I had the Sportful liners. Paul Ilonga uses Sportful liners and he really loves them. They're made out of wool and they keep his hands dry in all kinds of temperatures without layering. So I decided to look into the Sportful line and I found these. What I like about them, they came in and I tried them on before I started the video. What I liked initially was before ordering them, they're supposed to be water resistant they uh, they have these grippers. You see the, the the way they're made. They've got these grippers on there. I hope you can see them very well. Strategically placed where you need them when you're in the riding position. They're specifically made for cycling, of course. But um, I haven't even taken off the tags or anything. I just wanted to go ahead and do this part of the review. But when I put them on, they have a gore. They call gore gore wind stopper. Hope you can read that. Gore wind stopper. Um, a lot of times when your hands are getting cold is because of the wind chill. You know, when you put on gloves and you're not moving, they're comfortable. As I put these on, what I discovered was it's almost like they have a built-in liner that you put your hand in, and whatever the material is, it's like it has a cushion of air in there. But the fit is very form-fitting to your hand almost similar to where what the NFL football players use, the wide receivers, that kind of tight fit. That's what you get. It's very snug. There's no gaps in the fingers. This is a size large. You just measure your knuckles and they work. And then I like the little strap. They have a hard rubber here for the strap that closes on this Velcro here. But you can see there's no excess around the, the wrist. The wrist extends really high. So when you're wearing long sleeves, they're just going to go under here and then you just cover them up. So let me put this on. I'll go ahead and cut the thing off so I can wear the other one. I always use scissors because those little things, they have a little like a T joint. And if you pull them, you can ruin the, the product. Everything you see here that looks gray, all these little logos and this and these lines are all reflective. They sparkle, including the word on the finger here. So everything you see that looks gray and white are reflective. I like that about it. Put this on. Nice and snug, easy to get on. They, they designed it to wear all of this you can use to pull. A lot of gloves, there are some gloves that have tabs that you can use to pull them with. You just use the entire upper part of this glove and it goes on with no fuss. The feel is like they, all your fingers, there's no excess glove. You know what I mean. It fits true to, to form. So when you measure your knuckles, I measured mine, it was like almost eight and three quarters or something like that. So they're up to like nine, I think it's in inches. So the, the, the sizing chart is right. I work large in most gloves. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now, what I want to show you, I'm going to do my hands like this and then bring it over. Look how it grabs my wrist. There's no excess, no gaps. Okay, and this is fully adjustable because for it's Velcro, 
Well, all I did was I lined it up perfectly. There's no Velcro exposed and it fits my wrist really. The sizing is very good. So if, imagine when your jersey is in there and you wrap that up, the, the air will just slide over this and nothing's going in. I never put my jersey on top of the gloves. I like my jersey inside the glove. So the wind goes over the jersey and doesn't get under here. I want to show you this. Right there on the, on the, on the index finger and on here. That's to allow you to use touchscreen devices. Now, I don't believe they're gonna work as well as your bare hands. I don't really do a lot of stuff on my Garmin or whatever, but the, the thing is, is when you're writing, you need to swipe the screen and so forth. So what I did was, let me power up the Garmin. Let's see how it works. Because I, I don't use my phone too much with my gloves on, but you never know when you have to. So I'm going to try this and then I'm going to try the phone. So there's my Garmin. And when I'm using a Garmin, what I do is, let's see, this is, so it's working like this. What I do most of the time is I might want to change the page. Now look at that. That worked. They scrolled. That's good. So, so I can see that being a function. That's what I do on my Garmin. You know, I may go from this, I've got like 10 displays. When I'm riding hard, I don't want to see 10 displays. I go down to like three or four. So I have different training pages. So it does work. That's really cool because some of them, you have to take off the gloves to do stuff like that. And that's not convenient. So that's good that they put those things there that you see that little tip there and this tip on the thumb. That's what's making it do. So it works. Uh, let me try it with the phone. It may not be as good on the phone. Let's see here. I've got to enter my passcode first. What I'm finding is that it actually works on the phone. And what I ended up doing, I messed up. I was pushing it so hard. I'm already in the phone. I just entered my passcode and my phone, my phone open. But what I, what I was do, doing is, let me move this screen. So let's say you have your phone and you want to do something. I'm hoping this will show because it's so much light. Let's see here. Okay, let me hit an app like Safari. Okay, so that loaded. The home button's easy. You don't need the gloves for that. So if I want to call, okay, that's good. Go back. Let's go to music. Okay, so it does work. Um, what I found is what I messed up on is I expected it to not work. So when I was entering my passcode, I ended up pushing really hard. You don't have to. You just, uh, you just touch the screen and, and the passcode gets entered. Because it doesn't really read my fingerprint because I have fingerprint access on this phone. So for example, what I was expecting was the other gloves I got to push really hard. With this, you just touch and it goes on there. So you just got to make sure that you touch that surface and it will get on there. So... I don't spend a lot of time with my gloved hands using my phone. And so I was very happy that when I did this, I didn't have any issues using this one because this is what I, you know, if I'm riding and I want to look at another training page or sometimes when I ride solo, I'll set a certain kind of pace I want to maintain and use my virtual partner. And that that's the kind of, I'll look at a map, you know, so it, it you see it working. That's what I'm doing here. The other gloves are not that easy. You know, some of the other gloves I have from Rafa, they work really well, too. They have similar stuff on the tip of the finger. But this is the first one that I've seen an actual piece added intentionally for that. And it appears to work really well. So that's a good plus. As I do the review, you, hear, you see the phone. I just powered the phone off, everything with my glove. I mean, the, not the phone, the Garmin. I powered it off. I did... Basically something that I do bare hands with no problems, I, you just saw me do. So that's a plus for these gloves. I don't do a whole lot with the Garmin when I'm riding, and it's good. Now, just doing this review and standing in here, my hands are getting hot. It's very breathable, so I'm not sweating or anything, but I feel the warmth. And the reason I bought these gloves, I was looking for something that fit like this with a small, what I call a small form factor, that was also warm and resisted water. So 
before I go in there to test the water part of it, because it's water resistant, it didn't say it was waterproof. I don't need it to be waterproof. I just don't need water to go through it and get my hands wet. I just want to show you briefly, I have this bike over here. I want to show you, this is what I look for. Let me move back a little bit. I want to be able to grab the bars and feel the bars. And that's what you get with these guys. You really feel the bars. Whatever they did on the inside, those inserts, really allow the bar to just get in the, the what I call it, the cradle of your hand. So it's, ve it's a very positive, tactile feel on the bars. I can feel the bars. I really like that. That's a very good feel. So I will uh, get a chance to put this on the road. I'm not really worried about how it's going to work. I can tell from in here. And what I want to test right now is the water resistance that they claim it has. So I'm going to take the camera with me. I'm going to run some water here. I want to get a good shot of the sink. And I'm going to put the gloves under there. I hope you guys can see this. Okay, you're not going to be exposed to this kind of water on the road as far as direct, but um, I want you to just kind of look. Okay, now I'm going to take my hand out of the water. Can you see the beads of water on there? I'm going to do it again. This is the part of the hand that gets hit with the rain. I'm having trouble keeping this camera. Let me put the camera down here like this. Yeah, that's better. There is no water getting through the glove. I bet you they didn't think I would test it like this. Look at that. Look at the water beating on the glove. I don't know if they treated it with anything, but they say it's water resistant. I don't believe they treated it with anything now. Let me do it one more time. There's quite a bit of, I've been running this water for a while. to hold this camera let me do it like this here there we go i'm trying to make sure i get enough shots i just want you to see how the water just kind of rolls off the glove um my hands are still dry i'm gonna do the inside just to see okay just a little bit i did the this this appears to resist water this this part that you're holding but this is what gets exposed to the rain back here. And I want you to just see. <laughs> okay. Now, what I noticed though is. Let's go back in the other room. That was pretty extensive. Um, on the inside of the palm, those, those, these resist water. No oh, water's gonna get through. It's kind of a rubberized, grippy surface. The inside here, the gray part, got a little damp. I don't feel any water inside, but that's not going to be exposed to the rain when you're, when you're riding. This part, where you see the S and all the backing of your fingers, completely resists water. The water just had beads of water on it. The only weak area and I know why, is the wipe on the thumb. This area here is to wipe your nose and so forth. If you can see, let me come over this way. It's still a little damp. There's a little bit of water on it. Let's see. I'll probably squeeze a little bit. Nah, nothing came off. It did a good job. But, but on my thumb, I can feel it's kind of cool because I feel it on there. So this wipe area here absorbs water, which makes sense because it's designed to wipe your nose when you're riding in cold weather. And so it's, it has absorption. And so I can feel the coolness of the water on my thumb on that area. But when you're riding, 
You're going to be like this or like this for the most part on the hoods, on the brick hoods. All of this, no water is going to get through. All of that resistant water, you saw that in the sink. So I see what they mean by water resistant. If you were to completely immerse your hand in water, of course, water would go through. Right now, my hands are still dry. I'm going to take the glove off. So I can just show you specifically. This area here, the water did not go through, but it absorbed the water a little bit. And that's the area for wiping your nose and so forth. So that makes sense. Okay. You can see, I'm going to squeeze it. I'm trying to get some of the water out. Let's see. There. So there was a little bit of water that got on that wipe area. But when you're writing, that's not the area that's going to be exposed to a lot of rain. So it just makes sense that what they did is they did the backing of the glove. Everything that you see there, all your fingers are all pretty much waterproof. They may say water resistance, waterproof. That's why they call it water resistance. The water resistance is like three out of five. That was the level of this. Then it had a high breathability and then the warmth without bulk. The warmth is there. I really like that. So this is going to do well in the rain because a little bit of water on this area here is going to be rare because when you're holding the bars, this is down. This is the area that gets hit with the rain. And you saw that in the sink. So I'm very happy with the water resistance. I got I wanted something that would handle those issues well, because you don't want something that is completely waterproof and then your hands sweat in there. This is very breathable. So even if this gets wet, it will dry quickly because it's breathable. Plus, you've got that gore wind stopper to keep the wind from getting in. So even if this gets damp, you don't have to worry about your hand getting cold. It's really just on your thumb. So that works out really well, guys. I hope uh, this review helps some of you. I will put the link to the product down in the description if you're interested in getting yourself a copy. So for those of you who ride when it's cold or you might get rained on, these are a good pair of gloves to have in your arsenal. No matter what, get your K's in.